Hey, I'm Topsla, and this is Talking War Robots, the show where we talk about war robots. Let's get started with a check of the Yamantau map. Yamantau. Here's how Yamantau looked the last time we showed it to you. And here's how it looks now. It has already been on the test server several times and is almost complete. So keep an eye on the news. New weapons and links. On the test server, we are also exploring super close range weapons like needle, spike and stake, which all have a range of 100 meters. These weapons work well with robots that have strong gap closers, such as Scorpion, Revenant, Orochi or the new assassin robot, Lynx. Now, this one is unusual. Last year we were testing a module called Executioner. It allowed you to instantly KO low durability targets. After rounds of feedback from the test server, we scrapped it. Giving the ability to all robots in the game has proven to be too much. But we believe there is a place for a build with a primary role of dealing with hard targets. And if there is just one robot that can do it in a very clear way, with enough counterplay, it can provide for some interesting situations. Now it's up to how we balance it. So hope on the test server if you want to take part in shaping up links. What's next for drones? In the last update, we reworked drones to iron out their last few quirks and annoyances. The next drone, Kestrel, is geared up for assassins, helping you go in and out of the fight safely. It is a good example of what a drone should be in our eyes. Instead of defining your role like it did before, it supports you at some very particular task, such as shutting down enemy divers, tanking burst damage, or just blasting the heck out of the fight. That's it for today. See you soon.